Hello, Cash here and welcome to Armored Warfare Beginner's Guide. In this video I will talk about tank destroyers, give you some tips how to play them, upgrade them and also talk about their pros and cons. So let's start about the pros. Now these vehicles are actually among the fastest vehicles in the game. Uh, they also have a good mobility and uh, traverse speeds as well. Most of the tank destroyers have wheels and wheels are actually a great armor in the game simply because whenever someone uh, destroys your wheel it will slow you down only a bit but it won't do any damage and it won't stop you immediately next thing is dpm tank destroyers have a very high dpm or damage per minute it allows you to flank your enemies and destroy them quickly next is view range tank destroyers have a second best view range in the game right after the armored fighting vehicles also, tank destroyers have a special sniper ability, you can turn it on whenever you're stationary and use it for 6 seconds on 3 shots, but your shot has to be between those 6 seconds. Once you will do 3 shots with this ability or fail to use it while moving when it's turned on, it will take 1 minute for this ability to recover. Now let's talk about cons. Tank destroyers have no armor. That means that anyone can penetrate you even with HE shells with full damage. Also, tank destroyers doesn't have high penetration and uh, that is a con because simply you can't fight uh, main battle tanks frontally, except shooting their weak spots. Also, most of the tank destroyers have a very bad gun depression and it, uh, it won't allow you to play over hills. And since tank destroyers are very fast vehicles, they can take advantage positions in the maps, uh, spot their own enemies and kill them on their own, without AFV's help. If you don't have any targets, I would suggest that you simply change your position and attack enemies from the other angle. Your speed should allow you to do so. Also, another tip is don't rush too close to the enemies at the beginning of the battle. Since you don't know which enemies are spotted and where they are, they can simply be at the place where you will go and destroy you as fast as they can, because tank destroyers are dangerous enemies and most of the players knows that and they will do everything to stop you from your attacks. Now let's head to the upgrades. Now, tank destroyers already have a good view range, good mobility and good guns, but you can also make them a bit better by using retrofits, commanders, crew skills and also consumables. If you are an aggressive player like I am, I would suggest that you focus on your gun. Simply improve your accuracy, aiming time and reload time. Retrofits unlocks on different types of vehicles and since you already play tank destroyer, you, you won't have any problem to obtain the reload time retrofit simply because tank destroyers have it. For crew skills retrofit you have to play uh, from dealer Shishkin's line the main battle tanks and on both of the main battle tank lines you can unlock crew skills retrofits. If you like to counter your enemies from afar I would suggest that you focus on view range as a retrofit and use Sabrina Washington as a commander simply because her skills will allow you to improve your view range and also get uh, less penalty after shooting. And that's not all. Playing tier 6 tank destroyer B1 Centauro, you will actually unlock both tier 7 tank destroyers at the same time without extra grinding experience for the other one. They will both open at the same time and you will be able to buy them both and in this case you will be able to get two tier 9 vehicles starting from one line only. And last but not least. Whenever you will get to Centauro 120, which is a tier 7 tank destroyer and it's uh, the greatest in that line from my opinion right after ERK uh, 90 F4 which is a tier 5 tank destroyer, you will be able to unlock tier 9 vehicle and that will allow you to save a lot of credits and also experience and time. To unlock tier 9 vehicle from Centauro 120, all you need to do is get 475,000 experience after you researched it fully and you can choose any tier 9 vehicle to purchase. In conclusion, from my opinion tank destroyers are great vehicles, simply because there are more ways to play them and you can choose whatever suits you best. They can snipe from far, they can uh, attack aggressively and also do flanking maneuvers as well as help your team wherever it's necessary simply because your speed allows you to move around the map very quickly. This was a simple guide covering tank destroyers and I hope it was helpful for all new Armored Warfare players. Thanks for watching everyone.